This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS principles. I'm on unit 3 intro to programming lesson 7 APIs and function parameters part 3. Let's see what we're doing here. Terminology parameter. When you have a command like move forward 100, we say that the move forward command accepts a parameter and 100 is the value given or supplied to the move forwards parameter. Yeah, so this thing, the number in here, that's the parameter. Well, kind of. Since this value can change, we often see a written expression for the command that looks something like this. Move forward pixels. To indicate that the value supplied to the move for to move forward's parameter should be the number of pixels you want to move. The good old move forward command still exists. In fact, it's the same command as move forward pixels. The parameterless version of the move forward simply supplies a default value to the parameter. It would be like a constructor. We might also say that the move forward command has an optional parameter since you could call it either move forward or move forward 50. And it doesn't cause an error when you run the program. You can write your own function that accepts parameters too, but we'll get to that in a later session. Ooh, that's going to be great. Um, really it is. New commands. Check it out. The turtle toolbox now contains the parameterized version of turtle commands, including turtle... And including turn left and turn right with the angle. Notice that pin up and pin down don't have parameters. Do this. Use the parameterized version of the command to draw a triangle with the sides that are 100 pixels big. Oh, okay. So, we are going to start grabbing, let's see, to draw that, I'm going to go up first, I guess, and we want to go forward 100, right? So, and this is where they want the parameters, okay? And what they were saying is, if I leave this blank, it still works. The default is 20. Five. But I'm going to go ahead and put in 100. Let's see. Yep, they said 100, right? Yep, okay. And then I'm going to turn to the right. Now 90 is a right angle. So let's say 120, because we want to go all the way. We want to do a big angle. Let me see. It's probably not enough. Oh, that might be. Okay, let's try. Move forward, and then 100, and then I'm going to do turn right again, and I'm going to try to do it for the same amount, and move forward. Let's see what this does. Okay, do I need to be facing up? Doesn't say I have to be. Doesn't show at all. Huh. Well then I think that uh, looks like theirs to me. And we used 100 and 120, right? Because I knew these angles, my turning radius was going to be more than 90 degrees, because if I turned it 90, it'd be straight across, right? It would be a letter L. And so I knew it was more than that. So more than 90 is, well, I just said, well, let me try 120, and that looked about right. So 30 degrees more, went all the way around. Awesome. So this is the code that worked for me. Great, let's uh, keep going.